All right, hey everybody. So if you know anything about my channel, you know that if I take the time to prepare a video and actually go through and lay everything out, it's never going to get done. Instead, you're much more likely to get an update from me if I do something random like sit in my car on my lunch break and give you a quick update. So that's what I decided to do because I've been pretty bad about not updating um, you guys and that's something I, I really strive to do because um, I still feel like uh, I'm kind of a guinea pig and people kind of don't have a, an, another um, avenue to know more about the product. All right, so before we get started, I'd like to remind you that I am not endorsed in any way, shape, or form. I do love the product all by myself, and they give me no money to say that, which means I tell you the truth, good, bad, and ugly. All right, so quick pros and cons. Um, we'll start with that, and then we'll follow up with some um, responses to some feedback from previous videos. So pros and cons, starting with the pros. Number one, I have a true wash and go. I absolutely adore this. I go swimming whenever I want to. I don't care if I get caught in the rain. And most importantly, my hair dries much, much faster. I typically diffuse my hair in the morning. Um, my wash and go routine takes approximately 20 minutes depending on the weather. Uh, if it's colder, I dry longer. Um, but I do, uh, I'll go through my product list at the end, but I do a variation on the maximum hydration method, um, which my hair loves and if I were to do the true maximum hydration problem method I probably would have amazing results but I am lazy I will tell you that up front that is part of why I wanted to wash and go in my life because I am exponentially lazy um, so pro one true wash and go two I love that I can straighten it um, I will have to dig up some of the pictures from my straightening event probably two weeks ago I was going out and I wanted to put the specific wig on that my hair needed to be super flat for and so I straightened it so that I could braid it down because I have a lot of hair and it was awesome it was much easier I find that um, my straight my blowouts or what have you they last for a good two to three days depending on the humidity but you'll hear from some of the people in the comments that also use the product it can last longer if you straighten your hair more often um, I don't do that because again I am exponentially lazy so that is important so that is probably my favorite pros um, looking at my little sticky notes what else did I say Oh, I can stretch my wash and go based on the products that you use. So from what I use, I can probably stretch my wash and go by two, maybe three days. Three is probably pushing it. And if I were to do three, I would probably have to wear it up with a puff cuff. If you don't have a puff cuff, please get on board. Even if you are 100% natural, please get on board with puff cuff. Puff cuffs are everything in life. Um, basically, it's like a banana clip, if you are old enough to remember that. Um, but it's circular, and so a ponytail, it doesn't look like a ponytail, instead it's a cuff like this, and it gathers all of your curls, and it looks awesome. Um, great, quick thing to do when I wake up late, spritz my hair with a little bit of water, throw the cuff on, and I'm out the door. So those are my pros, primarily a uh, wash and go, true wash and go, and straightening. Good, I'm at three minutes. Awesome, so my cons. Now this list is going to be accurate and possibly a little bit long and I'm crooked, I'm so sorry. Let me straighten out, okay. Um, first of all, again, I'm exponentially lazy. So one con for me is maintenance. I have to maintain it. It is a product that you use very similar to anything that your hair is natural growth and then you have whatever is treated. So the untreated hair has to get treated. Um, for me, this is a trade-off that I don't mind because honestly, I get a true wash and go the rest of the time. So, hey, it doesn't matter if I spend a couple hours on a Saturday once every six weeks or so um, to keep my wash and go going. That's me personally. Um, one of the other things that's a con is that you have to experiment a little bit to figure out what products work with it for your hair as well as your timing for actually doing the softening process. So as you guys know, I've had all sorts of crazy videos. I've played with timing in all sorts of ways. You'll hear people who have left it on overnight. Um, I've tried leaving it on over, like I have tried a wealth of trying things out. And I swear my hair is trying very hard to find a way to be even more resistant. All right, I got you. Um, I've got a new way that I do it from my timing perspective, but it does take a little getting used to and figuring out what works for you. I refuse to give a full blown, this is how you do it because everybody's hair texture is different. And if you have been on YouTube long enough, you know that because you've tried everything with everybody's hair texture and you're always looking for your hair twin. So you know what exactly works for you. 
and a bird just flew past my car. That was awkward. Okay, um, products, experimenting with products. So one of the products that come um, with the new options kit or from that particular line is the moisture retainer. I love this product. It is so, so awesome. It makes my hair super, super soft, super, super um, just detangles everything. Love this product. However, I have not found a styling product to go on top of it to work well for me. So typically on the weekends when I'm not really going anywhere, I'll just put the moisture retainer in my hair, my wash and go, and I'll get like soft fluffy hair that doesn't have a lot of definition as much, but it's super soft and fluffy and I don't waste um, my expensive styling product on it. Totally good. I would recommend anybody to get some. It also helps during the transition time um, while my hair is untreated at the roots, the moisture retainer everybody loves that the untreated hair loves it treated hair loves it everybody loves it it's a party so definitely recommend that but again that's one of the cons you have the treated and the untreated you do not have a line of demarcation I will go ahead and make that point known you do not have that harsh line um, like you'll see in like relaxing and transitioning you don't have that at all which is awesome what else um, someone's asked about breakage so if you have existing damage you may exacerbate your existing damage. What do I mean by that? Well, in one of my feedback, uh, feedback from another comment a while ago, someone mentioned, hey, your ends look all ratty and used to have these gorgeous curls and so on and so forth. And you know, I was stupid. That's cool. Everybody does what they want to do. You are always welcome to shut the video off and decide, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to stay 100% virgin hair. You do you. Sorry, I'm talking really fast. Um, I had not gotten my hair cut in a series of years years and I've been wearing my hair in braids prior to using the product so my ends over time got really ratty you can see they look so much better now I went to a lady named Carrie Taylor here in the Nashville area she has been working with natural hair for a very long time and I believe she has her own salon now so if you're looking for that information and you're in the Nashville area let me know I'll put that information as I find out what her info is but she did cut my hair um, basically she dried it washed it dried it fluffed it out and uh, trimmed it up like a little bit like um, those show dogs the Bichons look a little bit like that kind of fuzzy but when I washed it after that, my curls that you see in the bottom definitely are back and in much more effect. Oh, I'm wearing cat ears today. And I very, very, very much love it. Ever since then, uh, everything I've done with my hair has been really, 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 really easy. I did not realize how much those dead ends were really weighing me down across the board. I'll have to see if I can find some pictures of when I straightened it recently. And you can see that my ends are beautiful it, it was very encouraging because I was actually really concerned so if you have pre-existing damage you want to make sure that um, you realize this could exacerbate it there's lots of um, there's a protein reconstructor that comes or comes with but in the new options line that's really awesome and if you're going between treatments it's definitely important to use that um, to protect your hair uh, the treated hair from the untreated hair majorly important um, so that pretty much goes under maintenance and you have to experiment with products um that's pretty much it for me this is completely amazing i will probably be with this product for till the end of time or until it's overpriced in so much of a form please don't ever do that it will hurt my feelings um so that's pretty much what i wanted to share on the uh, updates pros and cons i'm trying to think if there's anything else that's been mentioned in the feedback uh in the likes and comments below I don't think so so I'll go ahead and wrap it up and end it here um, thank you guys for watching and paying attention and asking questions I love questions um, I don't always have the answer but I love questions and I love trying to give people another option um, this has been absolutely life-changing for me and uh, it's one of those things where if you love your hair life life is much much easier I don't feel like I have to fight with it as much um, I have my days because it's my hair but for the most part I really enjoy it so I hope that was enough or an update please uh, like subscribe let me know in the comments if there's any other questions you have and I will hope to answer them please know that if you want a quick answer you're gonna get an update video in the car um, the pretty videos just take too long and again I am exponentially lazy so I hope you guys are having a great day. Happy belated Mother Day to the ladies out there. And I uh, hope to see you soon.